Hello, everyone. In the book of Judges, chapter 5 and verse 20, we see that the stars fought from heaven. So we see the stars are not just stars, don't we, church? In the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 20, we see that the seven stars are seven angels. We see in the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 4, a third of the stars will fall from heaven. Those stars will fall before the return of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 6, verse 12 and verse 13. Verse 13 says, The stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 10, we see a great star fell. Revelation chapter 9 and verse 1. Daniel chapter 8 and verse 10. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 13. Psalms 33 and verse 6 says, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. So the angels are made like us with the breath of God. In the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15 and 16, now it's Jesus. By him were all things created that are in heaven or in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers. All things were created by him and for him. Because church, Jesus was the word of God. Jesus is the word of God. John chapter 1 and verse 1. John chapter 1 and verse 14, the word became flesh. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 20, Jesus ascended far above all heavens. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 10. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 21 says, He is far above all principalities, powers, might, and dominion. Every name that is named not only in this world, but in that which is to come. So those are other uh, heavens where these principalities, powers, might, thrones, dominions are. So Jesus ascended far above all the heavens. The world to come will be Revelation chapter 21 and verse 2 when the new Jerusalem comes down. Mark chapter 10 and verse 30, Luke chapter 18 and verse 30, the world to come is everlasting life. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2 said the Son, he made the world's. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3. Through faith we understand the worlds were framed by the words of God. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we go, church. In the book of Revelation chapter 6 and verse 12 and 13. We see the stars from heaven fell into the earth as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Nahum chapter 3 and verse 12. All thy strongholds shall be like fig trees with the first ripe figs. If they be shaken, they shall even fall. What the word is trying to tell us here, church, is that the devil is going into the heavens to convince the stars to fall. And he is creating strongholds. So when Christ gets ready to return, he's going to have to battle those stars, those angels that rebelled. And join sides with the enemy. Job chapter 1 and verse 6. There was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also. Verse 7. The Lord said, Where cometh you, Satan? And Satan answered, From going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. First Peter chapter 5 and 8. The devil walketh about whom, seeking whom he may devour. So we see that he's not only just walking about on this earth, church. That he's walking about in the third heaven. Uh, walking about seeking whom he may devour. Job 38 and verse 7 says, The morning stars are the sons of God. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 16, Jesus is a morning star. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 4, Through the tail of the dragon, he caused the third of the stars to fall. Because the devil is a false prophet, he's going to prophesize in the third heaven. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 15 said, The prophet that teaches lies, he is the tail. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 15, Those prophets God will feed them wormwood. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 11. In the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and 13, The heavens shall shake at the wrath of God. 
God ain't playing church. He knows they're building an army against him and you cannot be greater than your creator. God created everything that is in the heavens. Everything that is created was made by him and for him. You cannot be greater than your creator. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 19. Jesus went to the fig tree. And all the fig tree was covered with was leaves. It was bearing no fruit. And Jesus cursed the fig tree. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 7. Adam and his wife after they sinned. Covered themselves with the leaves of the fig tree. They were bearing no fruit. When God came into the garden. And God cursed them. Woo, that's a revelation knowledge, ain't it, church? So what did we find out? We found out that the devil is not only building an army on this earth, but he is also trying to cause those that are in the heavens to rebel against God, to join him and believe his lies, his lies of prophecy, because he is a liar and a deceiver and there is no truth in him. What he is trying to do is save his own self, which we know that won't happen. So we see that even in the heavens in Revelation 12 and verse 7 and 8, there's war in heaven. We see in verse, 9, verse 10, watch this church, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. Now salvation is come, strength in the kingdom of our God, in the power of his Christ. Did you hear that church? The power of his Christ. You cannot be greater than your creator. God bless you church. Now, church, if you find out that later on I'm not able to make any videos, I want you to know I'm having some trouble with the iPad. So, be praying for the iPad. God bless you, church.